Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm going to be giving you an update of my happy planner that I use for writing. Technically I use my planner for writing and reading and for um, updating on social media and my blog and a whole bunch of different things that are all writing and reading related. I actually since filming my last update I have separated my personal life from my booktube, author tube, reading, writing type of thing. Those all have their own separate planner now. There will be a few more changes to it coming up soon because the planner that I have ends in July and I picked a new type of planner for August so it will be changing a little bit but what I'm using it for will stay the same. I have a lot of bullet journal style pages in my planner as well and I have like a whole Camp NaNoWriMo section. So stick around if you're interested in seeing all of that fun jazz. Okay everyone, so here is my happy planner that I use for reading, writing, and book, and all of that fun stuff. I am currently using my Hufflepuff cover that Brittany got me for Christmas, and I love it. The first two things that I have in here are just some stencils. From where I do a lot of bullet journal style spreads, I do keep both of those in there. And my planner dividers go through this first section here. I've showed this before in my previous videos, so I won't spend a lot of time on it again. But basically, this is just where I keep track of the books that I've read um, so far for the year, ratings, how many books I've DNF'd, etc, etc, etc. This is my DNF section over here. Uh, books that I have either unhauled or DNF'd I am writing on here so that I can keep track of what I'm getting rid of. And on this page, you will see highlight colors. Those are what I'm highlighting each book spine for which month, which plays more part into this section here, which are my bookshelf section. Um, this is a newer section. I had one before, it was just a single page, and it pretty much was almost completely full, so I had to do a new one. Um, before I had just one page with three sections, and I've updated it to two pages with four sections each, and I haven't finished filling in the background because a lot of these have like places where I can write in more books if I need to at the end of the year, I don't really know. I'm crazy so who knows. This page here is where I am keeping track of my TBR number goals. So again I'm using my highlight colors for the month. Um, the 52 is super outlined because 52 is my actual goal for the year um, but as you can see I'm almost there so I went as far as the book would take me which was 208. I talked about these again in an earlier video but there are authors that I want to read in this year and then my most anticipated releases for the year, which has changed a little bit because uh, Chain of Gold by Cassie Clare is no longer coming out this year, but Queen of Nothing by Holly Black is coming out this year, so I just traded those two out, one for the other. This is books that I have pre-ordered and their release date and if I've gotten them or not, so I can keep track of that. And I don't pre-order the same book twice like I did last year because I'm a loser. This page is just keeping track of my YouTube video goals, my monthly videos, and ideas for my monthly write-ins. This is my YouTube subscriber tracker. I currently am at 651 subscribers and in February I reached my goal of 350 and I have grown to 650 in the last few months. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. This is my 2018 goals section and this top part may still apply but this bottom part definitely does not um, because I have not even come close to reaching any of those date goals so I have learned that I need to start planning quarterly and not yearly, so that's kind of something that I'm doing in the future. Then we get to the next section, which is my writing section. This first part is that I write today. I really don't use this thing very often, to be completely honest. Um, you can see that I was using it during April Nano, but that was pretty much about it. Um, usually because I don't write every day, I kind of forget to go in and fill it in, so it's not really doing me a whole lot of good, but it's here. This page is a newer one. It is my writing dashboard. I have a post-it note for the four books that I have currently working. Um, Roxy, Anku's Curse, uh, Daniela, and Warriors. And then the sections are plotting, writing, revisions, beta readers, query, and shelved. So just whichever book is in which section and it just gives me an idea of what each book is, at, where each book is at rather. What each book is at, that doesn't even make any sense. But it gives me an idea of where everything is and what I'm currently doing with it. This page is my tracker for Warriors of Camadria, uh, my project tracker. I have 41 scenes currently in this 
version of it and I have so far edited eight of those scenes which means I am sucking this month but it is what it is. Um, once I have finished I know I'm going to have more scenes at the end of this because I have seen I have scenes that are like 50 pages long that obviously should be more like you know like eight or nine pages long not 50 so I know that I'm going to be having more scenes when I get through with this revision set so once I get through with this revision set I know how many scenes I need I will be transferring it over to here and then going from that section and doing updates from there. These I have shown before. These are project goal sheets. I do really like these um, as far as it's made more for being like a student school type thing but I'm using it for my projects for my books that I'm writing and really if you're interested in seeing more of that check out one of the previous videos because I'm not going to go over it again because we've already been over it before. Again these have dates and stuff on the bottom of them that really don't matter anymore because I'm so far behind it doesn't even matter. And then I have just a half sheet for video ideas and a half sheet for blog ideas just to keep my mind working. And then we have another section and this section gets me into my camp cabin. This is, uh, there's only a couple of pages here but this is what I have set up for Camp NaNoWriMo in July obviously because that's what it says in the giant letters up top. Um, this is my cabin. These are all of my cabin mates. I think right now there's 18 of us but I think there were two other people that were invited I'm not really sure they may have even joined in and I haven't wrote them down I don't know um, but I put 19 spots on there because you can have 20 in a cabin and I've written down the ones that I was aware of when I made this spread this next page is my camp project um, my work in progress is Roxy my goal is 25,000 and this is just like the first line of the book they all had the same question how could I possibly be Roxy Harris I asked myself that question several times a day just kind of like a here you go there's my project and then this page is my word count tracker. I basically down on the bottom half set up a calendar so like this color is all Monday, this color is all Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then the one that there's less of is Sunday obviously. So I'll just be writing in my word count for each day and then adding it up for my week goal and then a total down here at the bottom and this top part goes up to 25,000 and it's 500 at a time and I'll just fill those in as I get there. It's kind of like a progress tracker. This side, I do need to do some updating on this, but this is the sprint schedule for my camp cabin um, so that I know when everyone is doing sprints and when I'm needed to be on to be doing sprints because um, I know there are some that I'm participating in, some that I'm hosting, and some that I'm not participating in on the screen but will probably participate in in the chat if I am awake and alive at that time. We have a lot of people in our cabin that are European and Australian so we're kind of all over the place and there's going to be a lot of different time zones going on for that. And then this is my sprint tracker so I'll be keeping track of the date and then um, how long the sprint is for and what how many words I got during that sprint and there's just two pages of that and that is the end of that. For the most part this next section of my planner is heavily reliant upon Sarah Cannon's HB90 planner. I purchased her HB90 planner. I highly highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. It is so super wonderful. Um, it is very inexpensive. I will link it in the description box below. If you like me have a planner that you are already obsessed with and have a system that works for you that's great. I don't use the weekly pages I use um, the setup where she walks through how to set up your 90 days how to set up your quarter and set your goals for that quarter and and all of that stuff and I've incorporated it into here so I have done some like bullet journal style spreads of her suggestions and again I highly highly recommend it. Um, Sarah Cannon's channel that she does for her writing advice is actually Heart Breathings. She has two channels one for her writer type thing and one for her fans. Her Sarah Cannon channel is more for her fans. She is one of the most genuinely nice author doers and she does actually sell quite a lot of books and she has some success with it so I I'd feel comfortable following her and discussing her and telling you to buy her planner because it's like I said it's affordable and amazing. Uh, we talked about these pages before I think they have changed a little bit since the last time so now I keep my YouTube schedule in the front because I am filming so many videos a month that I really just kind of have to keep my YouTube schedule on one page um, and I go through whether it's planned, filmed, edited, uploaded, my schedule date um, and then if it is live and then just what I plan to do for the month again I have a lot. This back sheet I have more for my booktube section of my channel. I have my TBR, the books that I've read, books that I've hauled, books that I have unhauled. Um, this month there is the buzzwordathon so I have that down here. I have my TBR takedown stats for this month all on here so that I can keep track of everything in one place. 
Then this here is what you will see. This, this here, this post-it out here tells me where all of those books are available on audiobook, but that's for a whole different thing. It doesn't really need to be there. This page is more of what I got from the HB90 planner. Um, my monthly tasks for goal one, goal two, goal three. My first goal for this month is growing my YouTube channel. My second goal for this quarter is getting back to writing, which is starting a blog, which I have done. And my third goal for this quarter, which as I say for this quarter, it really was just for the month of June because that's when I started this, is to edit Warriors of Comedria. And I've put some things in here that will lead me to that goal as far as how many videos to film, host a live write in, answer all of my comments, um, find a co-host for this month, which I did. I had Laura from Laura Writes on my channel. I'll link her in the description box below. Laura was my co-host this month. And then sharing on both Instagram and Twitter, posting blog posts, sharing on Twitter and Instagram, doing my handwriting edits for Warriors of Comadria is on here. Um, and then it just, just a note to keep track on my progress tracker, which I do believe I have been doing. So this is my bog, blah, 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 bog post. I keep saying bog post. This is my blog post section where I go over each week because I plan to do one blog post a week. Title, schedule date, keyword, subject. Um, this just kind of got thrown in there because I was doing it bullet journal style and that's how we live our life. This is the monthly spread that I use. These next few pages are bullet journal style. I did actually draw these because I didn't have an extra copy of the month of June for my planner, so I had to make one. Totally fine. As always, I have these little books on here that tell me which book I finished reading on what day, and then I use some washi and then a little label to tell me that those were the dates for the Buzz Wordathon. Then you get into your week. I'm gonna skip over this week because I didn't have a great grasp of what I wanted to do quite yet. Um, so I'll go to this week that we are on and take this guy out because you don't need that. So on here, I am essentially at the top, I am doing my YouTube schedule. So I have my videos that I plan to post and then some editing, things that are going on there. And then up here I have my filming schedule and up here is my blog post that I have scheduled. And this middle section is like for writing. So if I'm having word sprints or if I'm doing a readathon or if I'm doing live sprints with someone else, editing my blog, whatever it is that I'm doing, my reading and writing are all in here. And then this bottom section is sharing things onto Twitter and Instagram. I found these really awesome stickers that are labels for Instagram, Twitter, and I actually have some for YouTube as well. Um, they're newer. Uh, I will link the creator in the description box below. Those are by the Green Tea Design Company and I will link them in the description box below. I also have these really super cute cameras that I got as well as a giant mess, some laptops, some glasses, things that I will be using for my reading and my blog updating. And those are from, I believe it's pronounced Jubilo and I will link those in the description box below as well in case you're interested in those. Yeah, and this is next week's and I haven't got it filled out yet completely, but that's what it is. The new setup that I'm getting is the teacher planner. So it will have five sections here rather than three. So I'll have one for reading, writing, YouTube, blog, social media. So I had like everything actually has its own space instead of trying to fit a couple of different things on each one. So yeah, I think that's everything. I will take you back to my face for the outro. So there you have my updated planner. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen, let me know in the comments below. I am probably going to start doing some kind of like either a weekly or a monthly planner video. I haven't completely decided what I want to do yet. I may just do something when I have something interesting going on. I don't know for sure. I do plan to do some planner related content in the future because I am kind of obsessed with my planner. So it just seems like the right thing to add to this channel. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays on Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!